I do want to say a huge thank you to all of you from every perspective of what you all bring and have brought and will continue to bring to the Trust. I think it's been quite remarkable looking at, uh, I might refer particularly to your presentation, Jim, because it's setting a massive context of both that balance between the journey that's been covered and delivered and the quality of the, um, the trust based on the support and infrastructure and development of staff and physical environment, but also that balance between where risk of maintaining and, and continuing in the same way with all the new relationships is about the future. And for me, that's about where I leave all of you to carry on the next part of doing that. And at any point, and I'm going to say this if I may to the governors anyway, the role of the governors particularly in holding and making sure that the board and the, everybody in their operational lives are doing their best and are not always able to cope with remembering everything or that it's not been in somebody's own experience just really, really helps. Um, I'm going to want, if I may, to refer to Neil uh, Smith, who's also retired but not just yet from the Trust Final Neil. I'm referring to you particularly because you and I have, when I joined in uh, 40 years ago, you, you were already here. I think that between us, you're the longest person with the longest memory and the longest serving with connections to nursing care. I think I might be the next, but I'm not sure. But I wanted to particularly um, thank you for uh, your wisdom and guidance when I started and um, onwards and since. And again, I'm not going to talk particularly at this stage about individuals, but I must say, Joe, um, again, it's been an absolute delight. I'm quite a Joe, and I have to say, and he knows it because I'm saying it everywhere I go, that whatever else I felt I might have or might not have achieved as the role of chair, my proudest moment is having appointed Joe. Because without Joe, you wouldn't get the rest of the executive team and everybody else and that leadership. Because one of the things that's easily uh, forgotten is the luxury of being a chair or a non-executive, however important and relevant we are, and we like to think we are extremely relevant and extremely important, we go home, we don't do the delivery. And everything that we've heard today has been about quality and standard of delivery to match the needs of our communities, our users and everybody who might not yet need access to our services and hoping that we can minimise that need in other ways. So I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who plays a part in that. And it's been fun. <laughs> and thank you all very much. to welcome you to our trust and hope that you feel as proud of being part of us as we feel ourselves. This is a video and we're just meeting each other as it were on film but I'm really looking forward to you introducing yourself to me when you see me around and about.
these awards show is that it's a recognition that the level of commitment, the level of the work, the level of value that you're giving through what for most of you will just be seen as your normal day-to-day -day job is much, much more than that. The Health Minister, Norman Lamb, has praised Merseycare for its pioneering work in reducing the number of restraining incidents on patients. Of course, you're making a massive difference to people's lives. Later, Mr Lamb was shown how construction work is progressing on Merseycare's new £25 million mental health hospital being built on the former site of Walton Hospital. The state-of-the-art facility is due to open early next year. The process of becoming a Foundation Trust is rightly very rigorous. We know that being on the Council of Governors does make a demonstrable difference to service users and carers, a role that would be of huge appeal to somebody who cares passionately about the quality of the services as experienced by recipients in communities, in families, as individuals. We believe very passionately that Mersey Care has a very particular place in the way that we offer services to our communities and to some of the most vulnerable people in society. One of the things that makes us so very special is the integration of our service users and carers in working alongside our staff. We are very, very proud of the quality of our staff. This approach uh, is one that was started at the board, a huge opportunity to start thinking very differently about how we wanted to become a learning culture. As chairman, I'd like to reconfirm the board commitment to this whole approach integrating physical and mental health, delivering uh, happy places, beautiful places where recovery is aided and where people are feeling supported in their work environment. Truth said a traveller is a rock, a mighty fortress. We've had the local <laughs> primary school in, we're bringing them around this site. It's a wonderful position to be in, that we can invest in really high quality buildings in the heart of a community. We can't uh, work till this is built. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge milestone for the Trust to be able to provide modern and beautiful facilities for our staff to deliver care to service users from. It's been a long time coming. The involvement in the design from the beginning has been with the staff and with service users and the local community. It's got to be a place of beauty internally and externally and I feel that it is going to be like that. Without true inclusion, you don't get the benefits of every individual skill that we might be and will be and have been missing out on. Absolutely excited to get this certificate as an award on behalf of everybody working in the Trust, and I mean everybody. This wonderful story, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, has officially opened a new mental health hospital on Merseyside today. Hartley Hospital in Southport's a £21 million state-of-the-art facility. It's very, very much appreciated. The level of what you've had to cope with um, in this last 18 months has been quite extraordinary. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be state of the art, it's going to be as homely and supportive in the way it's designed. One of the things that you may or may not know is I chair design board for the trust, which has the involvement of estates, of service users. 
I'm absolutely thrilled to be standing here uh, on this site. It's terribly important to us that our buildings are about recovery and are beautiful buildings to be in with lots of light, access to outside space and we've waited a long time to get this one off the ground. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 